Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whatever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, walking and talking on the beach here in Phuket, Thailand. Of course, today, an amazing video again, guys. Yes, I have four amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a very helpful trading tip. Yes, of course, some travel advice, talking about the news and always ending with some beautiful life story, guys. Yes, it's an amazing day. It's very early. It's like uh, 7.30 now. The sun is not up yet. So it's a little bit more quiet on the beach, a little bit more cool to walk, big waves. Yes, beautiful day in Phuket, guys. Let's quickly jump into the charts to see if we can still go and break out that 44K level all the way up to that 48K level, that level that we have been expecting now already for weeks and weeks and weeks, guys. Let's quickly see what the charts have to say. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can see mixed signals. We can see sell and buy signals. We can see a flat yellow stepping line. We can see there is a shitload of volume around this level, but we'll come back to that later. So there's a very exciting moment for Bitcoin at the moment. You can see that the Bollinger Band starts to contract. And every time when that happens, look, for example, to this area over there, when the Bollinger Band goes like very compressed, there's a moment we will see a breakout. It can be to the top and it can be to the bottom. Now, my plan at the moment is very simple. Whenever I see the Bollinger Band compressing like this, and I know that some huge news is coming up, I am taking a bet, guys. And that bet for me is setting a long at the moment for Bitcoin. Because I'm betting that the spot ETF news will come out or today or tomorrow, guys. And when that news comes out, I expect a pump or a dump. Now, for me, guys, I'm always positive. So I am in a long at the moment. I am buying some Bitcoins with a long on buy, but of course, um, because I expect positive news. I expect that the Bitcoin ETF will be approved. And because of that, yes, we can see a beautiful move in Bitcoin. Now, do understand me. It's a bigger risk than normal because there is no confirmations. There is no trading signal. This is just me taking a small bet against all odds because I believe that the news could lead to that massive pump. And if you want to copy that trade, guys, then do this on Bybit. Yes, there is a link down below this video. When you use that link, you get a sign-up bonus up to $30,000. US You can still claim a $20 airdrop. You can still win an iPhone 15. And of course, you can still win the VIP membership and some cool Bitcoin t-shirts, guys. So do use the link down below to sign up to Bybit and start to trade today. Now, let's jump into some more interesting charts. The first one is this. This one is showing you the Bitcoin price on the 6th of January. Yes, I know that's two days ago, but there is no updated chart yet. But the beautiful thing is, on the 6th of January 2024, we had the highest price ever on the 6th of January of any of the previous years. We had 43,958. The previous all the high was from 2022, which was 43,098. So yes, congrats to all the holders. We created a new all the high on the 6th of January for all previous six Januarys. Cool chart. Now, then we have this one, a very interesting chart. On the bottom, we can see the sharp pseudo RSI indicator and the top, the Bitcoin price. Now, the things that we need to look at now, at the moment, we can see a buy signal. On the bottom, that green square, that is a buy signal. And that buy signal is indicating that on this monthly chart, every candle is a month, we are going to see bullish momentum. And that bullish momentum, if we look to the top of the chart, will hit that yellow line. The yellow line at the moment is at 114,000 US dollar, around 114,000 US dollar. So that would be the top if it is up to this chart. So if we are at that bullish momentum at around 43K now, we can still go times 2.5 to reach around 114,000 US dollar, which means in the next one and a half year, you can still almost triple your capital if you start to invest in Bitcoin now. Yes, of course, if you would have invested in 16K, yes, you would have almost 6 x your capital uh, within two years, like I told you, but most people didn't buy around 16K and are still doubting to buy now because your question is now, are we gonna pull back to 40K? Are we gonna pull back to 30K? Diddy, when should I buy? Very simple, dollar cost average. Buy every single dip. Just keep buying because we at the moment just really don't know how one, the news is going to affect the Bitcoin price of the spot ETF, and two, how much liquidity is now already parked by all those spot ETF offers now to enter the market. We don't know if there's a shitload of liquidity. Yeah, believe me, the Bitcoin price will go up. 
But if you look at the traditional TA, without considering all the maybe potential liquidity coming into the market, then 114,000 US dollar would be a normal level for Bitcoin to reach. And mostly during the halvings, the yellow line is going up a little bit. And it will probably be between 114,000 and 160K somewhere in that area, guys, which of course is a very beautiful target for Bitcoin, if you ask me. Top of the chart, we can see also the candles above that dotted line already, with that dotted green part of the line, also above that blue line, guys. So very positive chart, if you ask me. A very good reason for you, to, at the moment, to start by Bitcoin, because at the bottom, you can see also that the RSI can still go massively up till we touch that downward trend line, where you can see the question mark. Very beautiful chart. Then we have this chart, guys, the Bitcoin breakout. Every time. When we hit that same horizontal yellow line on the chart, where you see those red circles, when we break that line, let's call it the zero line, that is the moment when we go into that beautiful last part of the bull market. And every time again, in 2012 we saw it happening, in 2016 we saw it happening, in 2020 we saw it happening, Usually it was a lot of resistance, when we broke it, bam, we went into the pump. And now again, you see the same thing happening. Because if you extend the yellow line to the left, you can see that it's a very important area that we just broke and that we are retesting at the moment. And from this moment, we will go, of course, into that massive run. On this chart, the target is between 130 and 240K. Uh, but there is even more bullish charts, like Plan B's chart at the moment is telling us that we will go to 500k in 2025. He is expecting more than 100k in 2024. But if you want to know more about that chart of Plan B, he just made a video about it last week. Go and watch that video if you want to see his analysis on why we would reach 500k. And then we have this chart. This chart is just indicating um, that at the moment around 1.11 million BTC has been bought between 42k and 43k. Now, that is why this level is a huge level of support, because a shitload of Bitcoins has been bought around these levels. And every time when a shitload of Bitcoins is being bought around a certain level, then that level becomes a support. If we break this level of support, then do believe me, we will drop to 37k, and there, yes, is even a possibility to drop all the way up to 31k. But for now, this level is a huge level of support. Yes, 1.11 million Bitcoins have been bought around these levels, guys. So yes, I do expect that we can hold it. Maybe we can wick down below because of some stupid uh, news that will uh, affect all the retailers that are afraid and they start to sell the Bitcoins because they think this is the top of the bull market or something. My bet is that this level of support will stay a level of support for some more time and that we can easily go to that 48k to 50k level for bitcoin uh, around that halving guys and yes the halving is another 100 days maximum guys so yes around that halving i believe that we will be around that 50k level for bitcoin guys i hope you really enjoy the charts guys yes walking a little bit further away from the waves there's a lot of sound uh, the charts of course indicating again that we are now only like 100 days before the halving guys and every and each time every time when we are like 100 days up front of the halving you should still be accumulating bitcoin full power guys after this halving we are going to see an insane push don't doubt about that that insane push is going to be there so why would you not buy bitcoin with all the assets that you have at the moment do you have saving accounts? Do you have like money laying around somewhere, gold bricks, whatever it is, maybe your third car that you can sell. Do it now, buy Bitcoin and enjoy that beautiful bull run. It is simple as that, guys. The charts can't make it more clear than that we can see now, guys. It is an ultimate moment to still accumulate Bitcoin. The ultimate moment to sell Bitcoin is around 18 months after the halving. Now, let's quickly jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for the day, guys, is I want to tell you what is the difference between investing and trading. A lot of people ask me, Didi, are you also trading this currency? Are you also trading that coin? Are you also trading that token? That is not trading. That is investing. Trading is trading one fixed pair. I'm trading the Bitcoin USDT pair. Every time again, just trading Bitcoin USDT. That chart, the 15 minute chart or the four hour chart, just keep on trading the same system over and over again in the same pair. That is what I call trading. 
Investing is what I call like, oh, let's take $1,000 and put it in some kind of token because I believe it will go up. But I'm not trading that pair. I'm just buying it, holding, and when it goes up in profit, that's when I'm selling it. So that's a huge difference if you ask. This a huge difference if you ask me what is the difference between trading and investing. And most of you there that want to buy these altcoins and all that stuff, that's not trading. That's just investing short-term profits that you're going to take there on the charts. So it's very important to understand the difference between those two. If you want to invest in tokens, be my guest, but don't call that trading. That's just buying a token, waiting for positive news or something else to happen so that the token pumps up and then you sell it again. Please understand the difference between those two things, investing or trading, guys. And of course, always trade and invest wisely, guys. And if you want to have some guidance uh, with trading uh, or investing, then you could join the Bitcoin family VIP members. It doesn't cost you much. And there, yes, we share which tokens that uh, we as the Bitcoin family are buying, but also which trades we are taking. Also, a lot of other stuff that we're talking about at the VIP members, guys. If you want to get access, go to thebitcoinfamily.com and you will find in the product menu how to get access, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the travel tip the travel tip for today guys if you are in a foreign country and you don't know the place yet and you don't know the food yet as well then please don't choose the restaurants because of its appearance always choose the restaurants where the local people are eating or where there is a line to get in because those are the restaurants that are good restaurants what I learned from the last seven years of traveling is that whenever it's like most ugly restaurant with these bright lights and all that stuff, those are mostly the restaurants where the locals eat and mostly the restaurants where the food is really good. Of course, I also love the beautiful vibe of a huge Buddha statue or whatever it is in a restaurant. I like, wow, I want to eat there. But believe me, mostly when there is a lot of tables empty and the appearance is beautiful, the food is probably terrible. It is probably better for you guys to go and eat where the locals are eating and where there is a line waiting to get in, guys. Those restaurants are always top-notch. Now, that was a travel tip for today. Don't fall for appearance, but fall for the ingredients. And the ingredients are made by a chef cook. And if the chef cook is doing a good job, then there is mostly a waiting line to get into the restaurant or at least a shitload of locals sitting there at tables eating that beautiful dinner, guys. That was a travel tip for today. Let's jump into the next part. The sun starts to rise, guys, very beautiful. Maybe better to turn around again. Um, the next part, guys, is of course the news. And the news of the day is about a wallet, Satoshi's wallet. That's the first wallet that was ever created. There was still like 50 Bitcoins in that wallet from the beginning. Now, in the last couple of years, people have been donating to that wallet. In total, at the moment, there is 99.67 BTC now in that wallet, which is around 4.3 million. The strange thing that happened now the 5th of January is that another person withdrew Bitcoins, partly from a Binance account, and sent 26.7 Bitcoins to that wallet. That wallet has never been used anymore. So that's kind of burning your Bitcoins because you can never get those Bitcoins back or Satoshi needs to come up and be alive and say, hey guys, I'm going to send the donations back times two. So you receive all a little bit Bitcoin back, double, because you sent some Bitcoins to the core wallet. But I don't really believe that. So I don't know why it happened. I really don't know why somebody would send 26.9 Bitcoins to a wallet that they don't have access to. Maybe it is a huge tip to Satoshi as a thank for all the things that he has built for us, but I really don't understand why people are doing this. Or maybe, maybe, maybe Satoshi is still alive. Or maybe it's just like one big media stunt by one of the spot ETF companies that will make a commercial out of it or whatever. You, we can't know at the moment. We don't know at the moment, but we probably will find out very soon because someone did send those Bitcoins and that someone maybe will go public and tell us why he sent those Bitcoins to Satoshi's first wallet. 
crazy news of course and i know a lot of you that are watching this video are like why the fuck didn't he send like 26.9 bitcoins to my wallet i think we all would be very grateful to receive that amount of bitcoins i think a lot of us would be very 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 happy to um as to receive that amount of bitcoins um yes even i would still be very happy to receive 26.9 btc guys and especially if that wallet would be mine you know that first wallet ever created by satoshi because that would indicate i am satoshi but of course that is not the truth no we are all satoshi we are one big satoshi we are bitcoin now let's quickly jump into the next part of the video there was no question today from one of the followers guys so i can't answer the question um, you need to ask questions down below the video. The moment you ask questions down below the video, I will answer one of those questions the next day in the video, guys. So for today, guys, I just want to recommend you guys to ask one of the questions. The part that we are now going to jump into is, of course, the last part of the video that you used for me is the inspirational part. And that inspirational part is mostly me talking about a quote, guys. The quote for today is a very important one. You are not a product of your circumstances. You are a product of your decisions. It's very important for you to understand the person who you are at the moment is the person who you decided to be. It is not about all the circumstances, all the environment, all your friends, all your family around you. It is all about your decisions. You decide who you want to be. Every decision, if it's small or big in your life, forms you as a person. It is all your decisions. Every step you take in life, every step forms you as a person. And you can decide which steps you take. So you are in control. You are the one that determines what kind of person you will be. Would you go to the left? You will be a left person. Would you go to the right? You will be a right person. It's very simple. Every morning when you wake up, guys, you get the opportunity to decide what kind of person you will be. It's very simple. Every decision you make will lead to you being you. It is not the environment. It is not the surrounding people. It is not everyone else. It is all up to you. You just need to wake up in the morning and start to make your decisions. Your decisions. The decisions preferably led by your gut feeling, guys. By your gut feeling. If you're doing what your gut tells you to do, you're really doing what your original you wants to do, guys. And that will lead to you becoming a certain type of person. Nothing else. Only your own decisions, guys. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the news? What do you think about everything else I talked about? Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Monday. Sorry I wasn't there on the weekend. I didn't do any AMA. You didn't miss it. I just didn't do it. I had some family time. Uh, for example, I went to Gregor Salto, really cool DJ uh, at Carpadim Beach Club in the weekend and I spent some time with Jessa yesterday. We went to the cinema, we went to, um, we went to Aquaman. It was a cool movie. I think I, I preferred the first one. I think that one was better, but this one was also very nice to see in a beautiful cinema in Thailand because the cinema in Thailand, small travel table over there is really, really cool. You get, you get chairs that lean back. Everything is perfect in service. The sound and the image quality is amazing in Thailand. It's like going to a cinema on a different level, guys. Now, that was everything. Wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.